When people first hear the term batteries, the first thing that comes to mind for most folks is Tesla's and electric vehicles. And there's obviously good reason for that. The cost of lithium battery technology has come down exponentially since the commercialization of EVs, particularly done by Tesla. But most investors are completely forgetting the exact other side of the coin for lithium technology, which is battery energy storage solutions for the grid. You see, as renewables come online, the demand for energy storage equipment is going to go up exponentially. And this is where lithium batteries tend to shine in the short term duration cycles. And there is one stock on the market that addresses this exact sector and is expected to grow revenues by over 200% for the next two years. And I'm not joking when I say this, the potential upside for this stock is well over 760% according to one of the most well-renowned analysts in the market. And that opportunity is exactly what I'm going to address in this video. But as usual, guys, before we get into it, make sure to drop me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. So without further ado, let's get right into it. The company in question is STEM, which is a business that sells battery energy storage solutions to commercial and industrial companies to help alleviate a lot of the stress from the electric grid. You see, because of the massive intermittency of solar and wind resources, there is a big demand for behind the grid energy storage solutions that can help manage the supply with the demand. And I think many investors in the stock market are not realizing just how important this sector is going to be if we really want to move towards a net zero electric infrastructure. Because if solar and wind farm asset owners can't sell their electricity at a good rate and consumers can't get that clean electricity at the right time, then there is no point in investing in solar and wind for the clean energy future. And because of that, as more renewables come online, the demand for STEM's product is also going to skyrocket. And we have already seen just how fragile the current electric grid is when it comes to solar and wind. As a matter of fact, STEM's technology actually helped deploy around 86 megawatts of stored energy in California earlier this year, when obviously their electric grid was trying to dodge blackouts as more and more demand for electricity increased. And the big issue here is that California has only adopted like 5 to 10% of the total renewable capacity they want to get by 2030. And so what can you expect for the grid to happen over the next five years as more solar farms come online and create even more instability for consumers? And this overall market driven demand is exactly why I'm very bullish on STEM stock. This is one of the only pure play energy storage companies listed on the NASDAQ. And this company's price has come down significantly as the macroeconomic tailwinds hit the market. But instead of just analyzing the business, I'm going to actually look at the numbers and show you exactly why this company's upside is enormous leading it to be one of my biggest conviction plays in the clean energy sector. As you can see today, the stock is trading at a market cap of around $1.87 billion, and that's on top of a $200 million revenue stream for the last 12 months. And as you can clearly see, since interest rates have gone up since the start of the year, the stock has gone down because obviously this is a very early stage company and they still need more capital in the future to be able to fund their growth. But the really interesting thing here is that ever since the Inflation Reduction Act was passed in July and August of this year, this stock actually skyrocketed by over 130%. And why exactly would that be the case? Well, as you can see, this company is positioned extremely well to benefit from this Inflation Reduction Act on top of its already very strong fundamentals. As you can see, if we look at the enterprise value of STEM right now, which is sitting at around $1.8 billion, the company is only trading at an EV to 2025 revenue of under two. Now, this specific chart is not updated because this was made back in January of 2021 from one of the research firms, Citron. But today, the enterprise value has been cut almost in half due to no fault of the company itself. Not only do they have a current ratio of 2.4, meaning they have plenty of liquidity in the short term to raise money and fund their operations, but their price to sales and EV ratio are trading at ridiculously cheap multiples compared to the growth of their revenue. 
As you can see, despite the massive macroeconomic tailwinds, they've maintained their roughly 250% revenue growth year over year while actually turning a positive gross profit. But as we know right now, the stock market is discounting every single company out there. It doesn't matter how good your fundamentals are, your valuation is going to get compressed. And since this stock right now is trading at a 2x EV to 2025 revenue, we all know we can compare this to what the typical market typically trades these kinds of high growth companies. And if you look at any other energy storage businesses chart like Tesla, Enphase Energy, or even Plug Power over the past two years, the typical EV to 2025 revenue multiple is anywhere in the range from 10 to 30x. And so chances are if STEM can hit the 2025 revenue target of around $944 million, then their stock price based on the current shares outstanding could hit north of $140 a share. Now, obviously, the caveat here is that chances are they're going to miss the 2025 revenue estimates because of the economic situation we're experiencing here in 2022 and in 2023. But even if you cut that number by 20 to 30 percent, you're not even accounting for the Inflation Reduction Act, which is going to basically give this company a blank check for its investments and give its customers more incentives to buy their product. As you can see, this IRA is expected to increase zero carbon deployments by 80% and utility scale deployments by another 40%, which is obviously the main market that STEM is selling into. And by far the most important tailwind for STEM is that they have three revenue streams. Not only are they selling the hardware in the middle at a gross margin of around 10%, but they're also selling an artificial intelligence software on top of that, which is at an 80% gross margin and grew revenues by around 12% over the past quarter. And because of that STEM's gross profit is likely going to go at a faster trajectory than any other energy storage company in the public markets. And not only that, it's going to also increase the value proposition for end users who obviously need some software to manage their electricity usage. But obviously there are risks and the biggest one could be that because of the upcoming recession, STEM could have a difficult time raising capital. And on top of that, because of the lithium ion battery supply chain already being so constrained, there could be price hikes in those systems in the very near term. And that is obviously going to affect the gross margin of a business like STEM. But as somebody who understands exactly where the energy storage and renewable industry is headed, I can't just help not be excited about this business. And as a result, I'm quite optimistic the stock will perform very well if the company is able to survive the next two years. But obviously, guys, that is just my opinion. So let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below.